morning. Oh yeah, <laughs> fair, okay. fair, fair. Good afternoon. Uh, just when it comes to the weather this evening, what's been communicated to you guys? It does appear that there is a window, but just what have you been hearing? Um, I, I think it's uh, it looks fine out there. Um, I, I think that everything I'm hearing that uh, you know it's going to be a little chilly, but uh, we should be fine as far as no intermittent stopping or anything like that. Amazing. With Yoshinobu, what have you been learning from him from his last couple? I think the main thing I've seen with uh, Yoshinobu is um, just uh, the sort of uh, mindset, uh, mind frame hasn't wavered. Um, I, I think that there's still a lot of confidence in there um, and just trying to uh, figure some things out in his delivery, which I think that uh, since Korea, we've cleaned some things up. And uh, I really feel that we'll see a lot better command tonight. Um, so that's something that, um, you know, he's still trying to learn to lead. And, um, you know, obviously the travel to Korea and, and back and kind of getting reassimilated, readjusted uh, to life here in Los Angeles has been a to do. But uh, he's in a good spot. Was he nervous maybe? What's that? Was, was he nervous maybe? I don't think so. Um, I, 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 I just don't see, you know, he's pitched in some big ball games in his career. Um, so I don't see nerves. I think adrenaline, there's probably some nerves, which I think is normal for anyone. Um, but I don't think that was a reason for that outing. How many of your uh, hitters try to bribe you to be in the starting lineup tonight against Lance Lynn? Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Actually, I will answer none. <laughs> you know, um, there's certainly some familiar, familiarity with Lance and, uh, I'm sure he's gonna, you know, give it his best go against us. I think the wind's blowing out tonight. Is it? Is it blowing out? Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. That's a good thing. Then, uh, <laughs> yeah, the guys that are in the lineup should be pleased. Yeah. Good. Well, coming back to young Marley, like, has it taken him longer maybe to find those those mechanical cues than maybe he might have expected? Obviously, the command of this is why he got the contract. Um, I, I think that was a little, you know, self-inflicted by by both of us as far as the organization and him himself trying to kind of manage some other things. So um, I think now that he's sort of back to, you know, where he originally was and has been for quite some time, I think he's going to be fine. We were out there watching uh, Betts at shortstop and, and Rojas at third base working with Dino. How much of an option is maybe a third? When would you want to use that? Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, it makes the most sense if, uh, you know, Miguel's on the field to be a shortstop. Um, there's also a variable of trying to get Mookie as many reps as he can um, <clears throat> to continue to get comfortable. Um, I, I think that, you know, just Miguel being able to take grounds over there, there's no downside. Um, and, you know, the game's plowed in various ways, and to have, you know, whether it's CT over there, Kike over there, and also Miguel over to play third, Whatever circumstance that Munts is not there, I just think it's only helpful. Hey, how tough is that for uh, a guy like Mookie to learn a new position, but yet he gets off to such a great start like this? I, I think it's. I think the great thing about Mookie is that they're really two separate points. Um, he's off to a great start because he's off to a great start, um, and the defense learning a new position, arguably the hardest um, on the field. Um, doesn't bleed into the offense, whether it be good or bad. So I think that he's just unique in that sense uh, because I think that you would argue that it would have to take some toll on your, you know, your mental capacity to perform offensively if you're taking up, on, taking up a challenge in a position like shortstop. But for him, it just doesn't get in the way. But, um, so he's done a good job of compartmentalizing. Given how many grounders he's taken, though, do you have any concern, you know, right? I mean, that, that's all that adds up over time, that it could have started affecting him physically? Uh, no, no, because I think the work uh, that he does over there, I, I think the one part of it is just managing the throwing across the diamond. Um, the legs, he, he takes grounders, he's always taking grounders. Um, I, I think just managing his throws, I think that's probably one thing that we all need to keep an eye on. But. He's also understanding how to just get the ball across the diamond with not trying to throw it 100% either. With Teoscar, um, after the freeway series, when he spoke for saying he kind of felt like a couple guys were searching still um, at the plate, he was 
one of them with a performance last like last night, just something that kind of clicked for him, or have you seen just a difference in the last couple of days with his quality at bats? Um, both. I think uh, the last couple of days uh, he's worked really hard with our hitting guys, and they've kind of uh, tried to clean up some some stuff with his bat path, um, his backside, and so um, I think that. And then getting some results in the game is certainly huge. Um, so he, he's, uh, yeah, he was scuffling for a while there, but he just didn't waver as far as his kind of mindset. And so it was good to hit a couple balls in the seat. So I think that, yeah, I do think that, um, you know, this is a good, good test for him because Lance uh, throws the ball at the top of the zone. So he's going to get balls at the top of the zone uh, and, and see if he can, you know, stay in the middle of the field with that. Um, yeah. Dave, uh, Matt Gage signed your 40 minutes with one of the few lefties there. Uh, he started the AAA season on the IL. I was just wondering if you guys know what that injury is. Uh, I, I, I know it's, I, I, shoot, Eric, I, I think it's, uh, I mean, obviously, I think it, I think it's arm related. I don't know if it's elbow or shoulder. I, I'm not sure exactly. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. But uh, yeah, he's a guy that we got and we saw him in spring training, like what he can do, gets a lefty out, gets a righty out, he can spin the baseball, so uh, you know, hopefully we'll get him back soon and I'm sure we'll see him at some point time up here. Do you think there's going to be a point where, because right now you have Vesia and Jarbo is more of a length guy, but do you think he might need another short lefty in that bullpen, just to, depending on the opponent? Uh, not necessarily. I, I think that um, the good thing about our pen, the way it's constructed, is that we have uh, right-handers that really do well against left-handed hitters, and so I think at some point you're just trying to go with your best, talent, most talented arms, um, as opposed to just having another lefty to say he throws with his left hand. Um, but yeah, you know, Yards is a guy that we have kind of. I like the length piece of it, um, but Alex is a guy that I think we're just going to be at, we're going to have to count on the up downs. Um, <clears throat> like tonight will be a perfect example of you know I'm planning on using him, you know, you know for a good chunk of hitters tonight. Dave Mookie had another layout home run last night. Just how remarkable is it, you know, what he does in the layout position? Yeah, I mean, it's instant offense. It's, it's Ricky Henderson um, as far as on that side of it. Obviously, Ricky was, uh, you know, the greatest base dealer of all time. But, you know, as far as when you get in the back box and you have a chance to hit a homer, um, I don't know how many Ricky hit, but I think Mookie's got 29 as a leadoff hitter. So it's, it's pretty remarkable, especially, you know, given his physicality. It's just... I amaze. I marvel at him. Do you recall how many leadoff home runs you hit? Oh goodness, it's a low number. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even think it was a handful. <laughs> I wasn't Mookie Betts. Let's say that. I know guys are pulling points up, but is there value to having multiple arms in the bullpen if you take down length this early in the season? I, I think um, you know the number one thing is getting length out of your starters. I think so for us the first two nights was huge um, at home and then uh, then to have a, a, a long reliever like what Yarv did for us at three innings and to have Michael which you know couldn't get through two but to have a guy like that and then to have some guys that can do multiples in the sense of potentially Alex Bessia or Kyle Hurt and then you can sort of protect other guys that you don't feel good right now doing a back-to-back -back, whether it's Hudson or, or Joe Kelly, things like that. Um, so those, all those kind of components starts with the starting pitching. If we can get some quality starts and everything, you know, will fall into place. Dave, you had six leadoff home runs. Pretty good. Hey, <laughs> I, I undersold <laughs> myself. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> I'm here for it. Very positive. Yeah, that's well, we synonymous with Dylan Hernandez positivity. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Thanks, guys. Thank